morning. It's Vlogmas day number two and I slept in and it was glorious. And today was supposed to be a relaxing, stay at home, decorate, show you my shopping things and, and just kind of hanging around the house and getting ready for Christmas. Well, our electrical has been messed up in the kitchen and a lot of our outlets aren't working for some reason. And we've been waiting for an electrician and the landlord texted today and was like, hey, can someone come by today in an hour? So I'm like, oh no, my husband can't come home. So it's just me. So I have to get my daughter ready. My daughter hasn't even had breakfast yet. The house is a disaster because I wasn't planning on anyone coming and I've been kind of in the middle of, um, you know, uh, decorating and cleaning and putting things together. So I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know what problems are going to come into. I might have to unload some cabinets because in the island is the electrical box. So, oh, it looks like I'm getting a text from the landlord. Anyways, yeah. Oops. <laughs> so <clears throat> I hope he leaves in enough time to have good lighting to show you all of my purchases and talk about advents and stuff. That might be postponed till tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to roll with the punches, okay? Usually my husband comes home and he deals with that. I don't like dealing with that, but today I'm going to. So I need to get dressed, finish getting dressed, get my daughter dressed, get my daughter breakfast, and do a quick clean through the house as fast as I possibly can. Oh dear, my eyes. I slept in, but you wouldn't know it. <laughs> I just... Oh, I have so much to do. It's crazy. <sighs> okay, I better get with it. Good news about this quick cleanup is I finally got my counters, my kitchen counter all cleaned. <laughs> Isn't it glorious? Now I just have to put the clean dishes away that are on the counter drying. I'm tired. This is not how the day was supposed to go. Oh well. I'm really not happy that this is happening today, but I can appreciate the fact that because someone's coming over, I did a really quick speed clean. <laughs> and the ledge is clear on the kitchen counter so I can decorate when he's gone. Hopefully it's an easy fix for the electrical. And I'm getting the dishwasher unloaded and I'm loading it and I'm getting all sorts of stuff done. There's some stuff I haven't got done, like getting my daughter breakfast and taking my morning medicine, but I'll get to that, I'll get to that. She's being very good in her room. Um, yeah, I'm beat though, but I am thankful that today's a sunny day. I would hate to do all of this on a dreary, rainy day. But look, look at my ledge. But yeah, look, look at this clean ledge. Now I just gotta work on the counters. This is all clean, I just gotta put it away. This needs to, these are appliances. I'm not sure what to do with the appliances in this kitchen, but all of these outlets don't work. So hopefully today it'll get fixed. Oh, I sure hope so. And then I hope it's an easy fix. And then when he's gone, I think I said before, I'll decorate the ledge with greenery. I'm all done cleaning and he's not here yet. So I'm just gonna sit down and start talking about all of my goodies. And if he shows up, he shows up. Whoop, bang tight. Okay. Um, Let's start with the crafting stuff. Ooh, where's the good lighting? Oh, it's okay. Maybe over here, let's try. Ooh, don't get dizzy. In front of the bookshelf. Oh, what a lovely view of the outlet. <laughs> we all sit in front of the outlet. I have a good view here. I can see him come up the doorway, although he's gonna see me filming. Okay, let's in front of the I don't want a pot coming out of my head. <laughs> oh, isn't this pretty? Look at this. That's gonna hang up up on the window there. Okay, no guy, no guy yet. We're we're still good to go. Okay, uh let's see. Start with this. I'll try I'll try to keep the rustling at a minimum. I got this wreath for outside, outside of the small window in the entryway. I see. And these were Hobby Lobby. I got a whole bunch of these to go. I'm gonna put greenery, like I've already said, along the kitchen island 
oh, I don't know what you call that, the kitchen ledge, and I'm gonna use these as picks, hopefully to put, stick into the garland. So I decided on our patio, I was going to get a couple of moving boxes and wrap them like presents and put them on the patio. And then I got these bows for the top of the present. I'm thinking this one, I couldn't decide, so I figured I'd get both, but I'm thinking this one. And then I bought wrapping paper. You'll see the wrapping paper. I keep thinking I'm hearing him, it's driving me nuts. You'll see the wrapping paper when I wrap the boxes. Some ornaments, I don't, I probably don't need these, but I liked them. Some gigantic tinsel, I don't know what I'm gonna do that with yet. Maybe in the windows, um, so you can see it from outside, I don't know. So I went a little crazy with the crafting. I wanna do a lot more crafting this Christmas with Faith. Some of you might already know that she's autistic and I like to find things that help with her fine motor skills. I found these Christmas trees and then these pom-poms and I thought she could glue the pom-poms onto the Christmas tree. He's here, hi. Okay, the electrician is gone. And it was a stupid, simple problem. But it was a problem we looked for and tried to fix. And <clears throat> let me just show you. See this button? We pushed it. We thought, oh, it's going to be tripped. Let's press the button. We pressed it and nothing happened. But apparently you have to press it hard and long in order for it to work. It was that simple. It's almost one o'clock. <laughs> so simple. My husband pressed that button, but you have to press it hard and long. I guess that's what it is. Um, so yeah, I feel stupid. <laughs> so crafting. I've been wanting to do crafting with my daughter to help her with her fine motor skills and her patience, practicing step-by-step -step instructions and things like that. So I got these trees and I thought we could decorate the pom-poms on them. And I got... I got these for something else, but you could probably use that as garland for the trees to glue that down. This is all from Hobby Lobby. I got these little cones, and I thought we could decorate the cones. And then I got these stars that have sticky on the back to stick on the top. And then I bought some of this. I thought this would be really cute around it to make it fluffy, or she could do pom-poms. Um, I might be able to find some fabric. I don't know, we'll think of something that she could try, not for crafting, for hanging, garland, ribbon that I didn't need, that looked like Grinch <laughs> ribbon. Ribbon for this wreath to hang on the outside. She loves Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, so I got her a little kit to make Rudolphs. What's, I mean, the sad thing is we're doing this by herself. She's just not gonna have any friends over to do this, and it comes with 12 reindeers. I don't think she'll be able to do 12. I mean, she'd be able to do it, but I think it would frustrate her. But if she could do 12, we could make a garland. That'd be cool. Oh, these. Do you remember these as a kid? Did you ever do these? When I went to my grandma's house, she would do this with us. You know, I forgot about that, about my grandma. These are really simple because they're pre-cut and they have the little hole in there. I did the, you know, the old-fashioned paper and then you'd glue, glue the ends together. And she loves gingerbread men, so I thought we could decorate some gingerbread men. Then I got a whole bunch of these ornaments. So we're doing this advent with her. It's a Bible advent, and um, each day is a Bible story, and then it ends with the birth of Jesus. And each story comes with a little round cutout with a picture on it and then the Bible verse on the back and it's just the size of this. I'll, actually, I'll show you. This is the one she did yesterday. She cut it out herself and then glued it onto the ornament. But see how the picture is the perfect size? And then the Bible verse on the back. So there were 12, yeah, 12 in each package. So I got three packages, two for the advent and one if she wanted to color because I thought it was neat. And what I'm going to do is have her hang them up on the garland along the Christmas ledge, which is now cleared <laughs> and cleaned, thanks to the surprise visit of the electrician. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> Mixed blessing, huh? Good blessing out of that. Let's see. 
I think that's all the crafting stuff. I got this really neat tablecloth. Hopefully it fits our round breakfast nook. Isn't that cool? I can say breakfast nook. I've always wanted a breakfast nook. Um, it's round. I got this at Joanne Fabrics and it's a vinyl, round vinyl tablecloth. That's going to be cute if it fits. About three weeks ago, I went to this store. It's open three days out of the month and during that month, they have different vendors and they go and find antiques and sometimes they refurbish them, sometimes they leave them as is. And then each month they do a shop opening. And I went to the shop opening and I found these ornaments. I believe they're vintage, they're metal. I bought all of the ones they had, which maybe six of them, I would have loved more. But aren't they cute? I don't even know what I'm gonna do it with. Do with it. I was gonna paint it, but I kind of like the creamy color. I don't know. I like that. And at that same spot, I got a set of Christmas napkin rings. I like those a lot. Have you ever heard the Burl Ives song, um, Santa Mouse? This is not from that song, but it reminded me of that song. Uh, how does it go? Um, <clears throat> He's a little fellow with the biggest heart and all the whiskers. Isn't any wonder Santa named him Santa Mouse. <laughs> Have you heard that song? It's really cute. It's Santa Mouse by Burl Ives, but it's there's a book that I believe the song was based off of, and I ended up getting the book, but I loved it so much. I thought it was cute. He needs a little beard like Santa Mouse had, but I liked it. My daughter loves mice, so I'm starting to love mice too. As long as they're characters and they're not real mice in my house. <laughs> <clears throat> this was at Hobby Lobby. Isn't it so cute? Oh, I fell in love with it. Of course, my husband rolled my, his eyes like, of course you'd get a gnome thing. <laughs> Um, but what I loved about it was it made me want to draw gnomes and paint gnomes. So now I have this like this desire to get in my art room and pull out my acrylics, not well, watercolors and acrylics. I kind of want to do try both and make little gnomes like them. I thought they were so cute. I don't know where I'm going to hang that yet. This is Hobby Lobby. I got this a couple weeks ago, I think. I don't know if I'm going to do this this year at least for December, but I'm gonna open it and see what it looks like. It's the 24 stripe advent skein by, I'll put it on the screen because I forget. So it comes with a sparkly, sparkly skein. I hope it's pretty. That's beautiful. Every year though, they seem to look the same. I know they're not, they're totally different colors, but isn't that pretty? So this is the 22 Advent Stripe Skein, oh there we go, by The Cozy Knitter. And the goal is to knit a sock and each day you do one color stripe. Um, I'm really not in the mood to make socks like this at the moment, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it for December, but it's really pretty. Woolen Women Fibers is doing a knit along that I'm going to be joining in on and it's using their um, Andrea's Elf on a Whip skein sock set. You're supposed to do an accessory. It can be any accessory. A lot of people are doing socks, but I've decided to do either a scarf or a cowl and I don't know if I'm going to find a pattern or if I'm going to make up my own pattern. I kind of have an idea of what I'd want to do for my own thing. That's gonna be really exciting. And to go along with the skein, Sam's Tiny Trinkets is joining in too. And she designed a really neat charm for it. So I got this in the mail. Look at the peppermints, so cute. Look at the elf. Look at the elf, he's so cute. I'm gonna open him, he's so cute. <laughs> Look at how well he goes, he's adorable. For the cow, you get extra points if you use this yarn, 
show off your charm in posts and get creative with it. Um, and then at the end, there's a winner for who gets the most points. I probably won't win, but that's okay. I'm still gonna have fun joining along. So yeah, you could still do it. You, you know, you'll be a little late for the knit along, but who cares? It's fun, it's a cute skein. call it a day today I'm so tired um, but I just wanted to thank you all for commenting on my last video it was just really encouraging I've been feeling a little down today I don't know I just not feeling that great and then with the adrenaline rush of the electrician and everything uh, and then the speed cleaning and trying to figure out how to decorate I'm just feeling overwhelmed and all of your comments just really brighten my day so thank you I appreciate that you take the time to watch and um, this house is I know I'm talking about the move a lot but the house we were in before we were in there for five years so I had my routine and I have ADHD and it makes doing brain work very difficult for me figuring things out so in the last house, I had things set up different ways, certain particular ways, where it was memorized, so it would take away the brain work. So every Christmas, I decorated the same way. I just would look at my pictures and be like, oh, I'll do this, and then I would switch it up for fun here and there. But here, everything I do takes brain work and figuring out a problem. Where does this go? Where does that go? Where, should I put this in the garage? Should I unpack that? Do I get rid of it? What do I need for this? It's just a lot for my brain because <laughs> I, I struggle with executive functioning. So yeah, so I've been feeling very overwhelmed and then on top of my health, but I am determined to do Vlogmas. So if I miss a day, I'm sorry, I'm gonna <laughs> do my best, but it's a lot of fun. Um, there's just so much I wanna do and sometimes I just don't know like how best to get it across on film but you, you, you all are wonderful and I just thank you so much for watching and I'm hoping you're having 
a good December so far, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.